everybody, welcome back to Riding with Ree with me and Ted. Can we just take a moment for this head collar before we get into the video? Because this is so gorgeous. Look at the fluff, his owner got him this gorgeous new head collar. Anyway, Ted's mane has now gone back to normal, but a couple of days ago, it looked like he literally had a perm. And that is a surefire sign that someone has been competing, which of course is what we did. We had our first competition together, a dressage vlog. So let's get into the video. So what I soon realized as I was preparing for this dressage test was that in having not competed for about seven years, there was actually so much more to prepare for than I thought. Everything from plaiting Ted, how I was going to do that to his tack, and what is actually dressage legal. And my own equipment, I had to buy my own new competition gear, some of the things I hadn't had in such a long time. So I'm going to take you through all of that as well as the test itself. There will be a whole video on the test that I did, which is the Intro A 2008 test. So if you do want to see that video, make sure that you are subscribed. Let's talk about what is and isn't dressage legal. Saddle is fine. This breastplate and martingale, not dressage legal. You cannot do dressage in these. His bit here is a new dressage legal bit. We got him specifically for the competition. It is a hanging cheek snaffle with a sweet iron lozenge in the middle. His other bit was a universal sweet iron, which was not dressage legal because it had a sort of gag movement. Bit guards also. The black rings that are on the sides of his bit, you're not allowed those in dressage either. His nose band, which is a grackle, is dressage legal, but didn't used to be. So what we did in the run up to the competition was spent a lot of time working without the martingale, working in this new bit to get him used to it. And I'll show you some of that footage now. Good boy. So I've got Ted's new bit just here and because it's brand new I've actually rubbed horse licks on it so that maybe it doesn't taste like a new bit. You can see I've just covered it in his lick. Hopefully it'll taste better when he puts it in his mouth. Just tell me your life you have to, I just want to pretend all the So I popped down to the tech shop in preparation for our show. I got myself some equivalent of plating gel, shampoo for greys. The guy in the shop said to shampoo with normal shampoo and then do this on top so you save it for longer. Plating bands. I actually prefer needle and thread, which I picked up as well, but it can be helpful if it goes wrong to have plating bands. Simple stock tie, because I don't have one of those. I got myself a new hair neck, because I don't have one of those. I got myself white gloves, because I don't have those either. Previously, when I've competed, I've always had this jacket, but I've always worn kind of canary or beige breeches, which isn't quite correct with this navy jacket. So I got myself some white ones. I've just arrived, sorry for the mess. So I thought I'd do a little try on. This is about two weeks out. I am excited. So I have put off plaiting tails for my entire equestrian career. I've always got other people to do it for me and now I have to do it myself on Ted and it's really, really, really difficult. I've been practicing all morning and it's still looking a bit, bit ropey, but I am confident we have about two weeks to go and I'm just gonna keep practicing and hopefully on the day, it looks okay. <laughs> another day, another practice plaiting session. I actually think this one Best one yet. Let me give you a close up. Look at that. I'm actually very pleased with this. I just got a package, which is gonna help us out with our dress on show prep. Also the world's tiniest scissors, which I highly recommend when trying to open a package. Okay, very large box for the item. Oh, it's really heavy. Massive garlic lick. Okay, so a few people told me that this is supposed to help because you can put it on the ground in front of them while they're eating uh, sorry while you're plaiting and it sort of keeps their head still and it's better than hey because it obviously won't end up in their um and then so I'll just have a quick look they're always quite satisfying to look at but there we are onwards with plaiting would you like to see it back 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 and the hope is that whilst you have a little go at the lick i'm gonna do your full lock back Brilliant. So obviously on the day I will do this with thread, but I think we can say that that is pretty successful. Look who stood still to have a set of terrible, but full plaits put in. Good boy. 
Now don't look too closely because they don't look great, but I just wanted to get the sensation of doing all of them whilst he stood still. So now I'm gonna get him a big carrot and take them out. I have my stool as well. Good boy, Ted. Clever pony. Here's your time to shine. Oh, show me what you can do. The way my hands feel on your body. The way we're dancing in the dark. With every move I make, you're falling. The way my lips feel on your body. The way we're moving in the dark. With every breath we take, you're falling. Right, it's Saturday night. I have just got to the yard. It's about 5.30. I, I'm a little bit nervous, but I was more nervous earlier because I was putting so much pressure on myself to like plait him and make everything look amazing. But I've told myself that if I don't plait in the morning, it doesn't go well, it's fine. And actually that's made me feel like a ton better. So tonight I'm just gonna clean my tack, bath him, put him to bed and then be back down here first thing, ready to go to the competition crazy it's bath time so i always bath ted twice once with normal shampoo and then once with gray horse shampoo so that i don't use too much of it and don't waste it i also didn't bath his mane i left it completely dry because i want it to be easy to plait tomorrow and it can be difficult if it's just been washed it can be quite hard to hang on to so i left his mane completely so ted is currently wet he's gonna dry and hopefully be even cleaner looking last go at plaiting practice i realized the reason it had been taking me so long is because I've been doing really small plaits and now they're much bigger. And also there's lick all over him, which I'm gonna have to sort out tomorrow. Just got to the yard. It is just before six o'clock on the day of the competition. I'm a little bit nervous, but I just wanna get on with plaiting him, getting all that done, and then I'll feel 10 times better. So let's go and do that and I'll take you with me. It's 25 to seven, Ted, his mane is plaited. I'm really glad at vlogging this morning. I'm really sorry, but Ted and I are on our way. We're just hacking up now trying to keep really relaxed the hacks definitely helped me to calm down ted is chilling out his head's basically on the floor so that's good help him relax as well good boy ted so we arrived about 40 minutes before our test time which was fantastic it meant we could have a little break give ted some water and then do a warm-up where horses were coming in and out to get him used to seeing lots of different things in lots of different spaces before I knew it, we were trotting around the edge of the arena ready for our test. I'll show you a few highlights from that now. Just tell me your life you have to. I just want to pretend that you're mine for the last time. Is that all right? Just tell me your life you have to. I just want to pretend. Oh, As soon as we got back, I offered him water, hay, took his tack off, gave him a wash, took his plaits out, and now I'm going to put him straight out in the field. I always want to do that as soon as possible so he has time to be a horse again. Good boy, Ted. Thank you so much for joining us. Do remember to subscribe if you want that video on tips for your first dressage test and want to see more of our adventures. We'll see you there.